Okay, friends, our next book is called What We Wear, Dressing Up Around the World. And this book was written by a nonprofit organization. That's a group that doesn't make any money because they donate all their money to help other people. And this group donates all the money they make from books to help children around the world. I think you'll see some things that look different to you about other children and some things that look the same as you do. What we wear, dressing up around the world. Here's a picture of a friend in Finland, Israel, Mali, Bangladesh, South Africa, and Chile. Around the world, we dress up to have fun. We dance and play. These friends are from India, Turkey, and the United States of America. Wearing feathers, beads, and flowers. These two friends are from Switzerland with their flowers in their hair. Papua New Guinea and Ethiopia. Dressing up means celebrating who we are in Peru, Japan, the United Kingdom, and back here in the United States of America. And what we believe in Australia, Nepal, Canada, and Indonesia. We wear special clothes to go to school in the United Kingdom, in India, and these friends are from Uganda. We play games and to be part of a team we dress up. These baseball players are from Japan. These players are from the United Kingdom. These soccer players are from the United States. And these soccer players are from Malawi. We wear all the colors of the rainbow. Those are colorful outfits in the Ukraine, Ecuador, and in Iran. We paint our faces and wear masks in Brazil, Martinique, Canada, and the Philippines. Dressing up also means playing pretend. These friends in Panama look like they're being kittens. And this friend in Singapore is pretending to be a doctor. And this friend in the United States of America is pretending to be a chef. We wear what we like and feel our best in Kazakhstan, Belize, Sweden, India, and Niger. The children in this book come from all over the world. This friend is from Egypt. And the people who wrote this book shared some ideas that you can do from home. You can discover different cultures. Go to a festival when there's one in your area. Check out a museum. Ask about clothes of the past. What did your family used to wear when they were your age? You can find connections around the world. You can make a mask like some of our friends in the story. Or you can see costumes wherever you look. the end.